Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at a wall, a vertical wall, in still air or ambient air. The area of the wall is one square meter, the temperature wall is 100 degrees centigrade, and the temperature of the air is 20 degrees centigrade. So there's no air being blown onto the wall. What is the heat loss through natural convection from both sides of the wall? And we want to calculate it in terms of calories per hour. All right. So what we need to do is we need to come up with an equation, and the equation we can use would be Q dot is equal to H times A times delta T. So the transmission coefficient, the, the surface area, and the difference in the temperature. And we can use an old equation, Q dot, which is still fairly accurate, where we can take H to be 1.77 times delta T to the 1 quarter power, and multiply it times the area times delta t. All right, and of course that would be in terms of joules per second or watts. So what we can say here is that units wise we have this is equal to 1.77 times delta t. That would be the number. That would be in terms of watts per square meter times Kelvin. And of course we multiply the times area which is in terms of square meters and delta t which is in terms of Kelvin. So notice that the units then for heat loss will be in terms of watts or joules per second. So plugging that in, let's see what we get. So Q dot is equal to 1.77 times the delta T would be 80 to the 1 quarter power times the area, which is of course 2 square meters, 1 a meter on each side, and delta T would be 80. And that of course is in terms of watts. And then if we want to convert that, or let me write it in terms of joules per second. So that will be in terms of joules per second. If we want to convert that to calories, then we have, let's see here, um, that would be uh, calories versus joules. And one calorie is 4.186 joules. So we have to divide everything by 4.186. And then if we want to go to hours from seconds, we want hours in the bottom and seconds in the top, and of course one hour is 3600 seconds. So that should give us the heat flow away from the wall in an hour in terms of calories per hour. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. So first of all, 80 to the 1 quarter power, 0.25, times 1.77. That'll give us 5.29. So H here the transmission coefficient is going to be 5.29 times 2 times 80 times 1 over 4.186 and then multiply it times 3600 and that'll be in terms of calories per hour. Okay, so times 160 and divide by 4.186 and then times 3600 equals and we get Q dot is equal to about 7.3 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth calories per hour. Okay, I need my dot over there. There we go, Q dot. That's the amount of heat that will flow away from the wall. Now, what if the wall was horizontal? Well, it turns out that H for a horizontal wall is about 1.07 times H of a vertical wall. In other words, about a 7% increase, which means that therefore, for a horizontal wall, Q dot, so for a horizontal wall, Q dot will be equal to 1.07 times the 7.3 times 10 to the fifth calories per hour. And so times 1.07, and that gives us about 7.8 times 10 to the fifth calories per hour. So about a 7% increase in the heat being released from the wall if the wall is horizontal versus the wall being vertical, and just that Part of that is because when the wall is horizontal, you have much more of a uh, drift of the energy going up with the hair, air that gets heated and then, of 
course, goes up because it becomes less dense and rises up. And then you get more of a heat flow through that particular process, which gives it a difference of about 7%. And that is how it's done.